will be ungrateful to you, Lord. Hey, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. Hey, for January, Lord, I am very grateful. Hey, for the month of February, Lord, I am grateful. For the month of March, Lord, I am grateful. Because you kept me in April, Lord, I am grateful. Hey, for your grace in May, Lord, I am grateful. For your blessings in June, Lord, I am grateful. Hey, for your glory in July, Lord, we are grateful. For this month of August and for the rest of the year. Hey. Oh, I will never be, I will never be, oh, hey, I will never be, I will never be, hey. I don't know about you, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord, you need to speak for yourself, I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord, hey, for your grace, for your mercy, for your love, for your kindness, benefit of people that are coming for the first time, you can find that one on page three. The first is in your hand. Let's go. 
是真自我。
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and worship this God for the very first day in the month of August. If you appreciate the Lord, you will lift up those hands. If you have them, if you have your hands with you, just lift them up and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the very first day in the month of August. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you all. The life transforming voices has this song to do. The songwriter looks at the sparrow. If God can take good care of those birds, those tiny birds, how much more you and I that he has made in, our, in his own image. I want to assure you that this is a very great month. Full of surprises. Divine surprises. That's what God is going to do in our lives in Jesus name. This song says you are the reason why I sing. I want to tell you that Jesus is the reason why you and I can lift up our hands, sing, and say good things to him. Hallelujah. Every day. Because of His 
Sizes of the sparrows. Sizes of the sparrows. That's the reason. That's the reason why I sing. Glory, glory. Glory, hallelujah. I give my praise to you. Give my praise to you. Glory, glory. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason why I sing. Jesus, you are the reason. Hey, you are the reason why I sing. I want you to know why you are standing, why you are seated today, why you can go out to walk, bring it down a little, why you can do all that you are doing is because of the Lord Jesus Christ that is in you. And that's the reason why we sing today. He alone can make you and I sing, rejoice, to see the very first day in the month of August. It has pleased the Lord and we are saying thank you. When we cross the river to start the war no more, when we sing a song to Jesus, the one who we adore, when we cross the river to start the war no more, when we sing a song to Jesus, the one whom we adore, I will sing, sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, his eyes is on the sorrow, that's the reason why I sing, I will sing, I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, his eyes is on the sorrow, that's the reason while I sing glory, 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 hallelujah. I sing my praise to you. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason why I sing glory, 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 hallelujah. I give my praise to you. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason. While I sing, glory, 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 hallelujah. I give my praise to you. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason why I sing. You are the reason. Jesus, you are the reason. I cannot sing without you. You have been my Alpha and my Omega. You have been the song that comes out of my mouth. You have been my joy. You have been my everything. You are the reason. Can I hear you say it, everyone? Why do you sing, mommy? Why do you sing, daddy? You are the reason. Jesus, you are the reason. You are the reason. Glory, 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 hallelujah. I give my praise to you. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason why I love you. Glory, 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 hallelujah. I give my praise to you. Glory, hallelujah. You are the reason why I see. Hallelujah. Today, who 
who is the one who has approved the reason for your singing if you are sure can you scream the name of Jesus hallelujah you all are welcome to a new month hallelujah I had the Lord say to me, the month of August is the month you are going to sing the best of your song. Amen and amen. You know, small key opens big doors. You believe it? And this very new month of August, in the name Elohim, I decree and I declare, you will dance your best dance. And so shall my word be that proceed out of me. It will never come back unto me empty. It will fulfill everything that I've sent it to accomplish. Therefore, this very month, wrong people will move away from your life. Another great news. Amen and amen. Those who have looked down on you. And we're not aware that as at that time you are a seed that was sown. They rubbish you, they close you up, they fence you up, they rot whatever 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 i have the lord said to me month of august they will look up to you your hearings the very word of the living God for this new month it is wrong and everything become wrong but every wobbled movement that your life have suffered from January to date the Lord is doing some counting and in this month of August, is counting it standing right in front of you. Yeah. If you read that story down, Abraham said, How will I be sure? I want to double check to be sure this is not just for another person. And God told him, You will need to bring something out from you. And you drop it for me. And when you drop it for me, you will know whether I am the Lord talking to you or I'm talking to your neighbors. And Abraham took whatever it is he was asked to take. He dropped it because he wanted to know. This month you will know Elohim is by your side. Yeah. So you are going to welcome your beautiful future. I welcome my beautiful future in the name of the Lord of hosts. It will come to pass in my lifetime. My beautiful future. Yes. My dear sirs, welcome your beautiful future. Today is not the final page of your story. There's a beauty that is waiting for you in your future. Welcome it happily. Welcome it miraculously. The Lord led Abraham. And told him what to do. He did it. And he welcomed the future. Till today. Blessing flow over the matter of Abraham and his seed. I welcome my future. I welcome it right. I welcome it good. Thank you, Father. Glow is your name. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus, special name, a thousand times. What? And bless you. As he has promised you. So we are going to lift our two hands up to heaven. That the Lord will make you a thousand times better than the condition you find yourself in the previous month. A thousand times better. You are praying the Bible way. When the spirit of the Lord possesses your life. A thousand times better. In judgment. In achievement. Yes. In your life. In peace of mind. A thousand times better. Than anyone I know. God will do it. God will do it. Yes. He will do it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Blessed name, we are praying. New month, new land. New month, new testimony. New month, new fulfillment. And from that Bible passage, in um, chapter 1 of Deuteronomy chapter, verse 8, he says, I have set the land before you. That land is a symbol of this month. Go in and possess the land which the Lord has promised and covenanted unto your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give unto them and to their seed after them. What's this? Some blessings will happen not because of you. But because someone in your lineage has made God happy. But every other person has been coming in your lineage, they don't have good internet to download that blessing. So it can be theirs. But today, you are going to pray your divine internet. We download blessings for this month of August. In the name of Jesus, I've told you, these blessings will happen. Not necessarily because of your righteousness or because of your stupidity. No. But because somebody has made God happy in your lineage. And everyone that has been coming, they don't have a stronger network. They cannot download it. It has been floating for years. Can you start to download them? Madam, download those blessings. They are yours. Don't compare yourself with nobody. That in the name of Jesus, let my network begin to work out right. The network of my story. Come out well. Come out good. Come out right. This is the month. The month that surprises Amazing surprises will be my nest of king. Yes. He's been doing it before. He will do it again. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Think right, madam. Speak right, sir. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. All render in victory. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing light that can shut the eyes of the wicked. Thank you, Jesus. The divine interpreter of himself. Praise you, Jesus. The one who is a way maker. In the midst of confusion and raging storm. Thank you, Jesus. The one who gives us quickening spirit. So that we can know and download what belongs to us. We thank you and praise you deliberately. Thank you horizontally and vertically. Thank you omnivorously and agriboriously. Thank you for all seasons. Thank you for all times. Thank you for this month. As we step into the month, you this month, you will favor us. <laughs> you know why? Because our maker and redeemer is with us. 
we compulsory it for this month of August, you will favor us. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as we possess this month, we will download blessings that have been hanging in our generation for so many years. They will be our portion. Say a loud amen. And I pray for everyone, wherever you are watching out from, local, international, intercontinental, wherever you are watching this program, let the flow of Yeshua reach out unto you quickly. And you will also come back to share the testimony. Thank you, immortal God. In Jesus' precise name, we have prayed. Shall we jam our two hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Amen and amen. God bless you. Please, you may be seated in an executive way. Hello. Today, you've gotten to wake up and do something. Wake up and what? You know, there's a way you can wake up and you are still there. You are still looking and you are thinking and nothing is happening. But I have the Lord says to me, this is the time for you to do something. Because nothing lasts forever. Do you believe it? You too has replaced DVD. Yes or no? CDs has replaced cassettes. Arrival of phone has replaced post office. When last did you go to post office? <laughs> SMS has replaced letter writing. Email has taken the place of fax machine. Computer, a send packing, typewriter. Internet took over library. And Google Network does not allow dictionary to be useful as it used to be. Am I saying something to someone? The Lord is saying, you know, each time a political party comes on, you will rubbish another political party. Yes or no? I am announcing to someone for this new month, you will do something brilliant. Amen. Now, Nepa, they are misbehaving. And I'm seeing what will soon take over them shortly. You know what? Solar power will soon pack them out. At the far end, death will take over life in the life of the believers. And resurrection will also take over death. Be careful, sir. This world is not for only one person. Wake up and do something. Isaiah chapter 51. In Isaiah chapter what? 51. I realized one time, I guess about two weeks ago, I spoke on wake up from slumber. But this time around, it is wake up and do something. Isaiah 51. And I'm reading some eight verses. If you have Bible with you, you are in for a super revelation because this is a new day, a new month, a new season. Your Redeemer is strong. You will not be a yesterday man. Amen. Isaiah 51. Awake. Another word for awake is wake up. Awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, 
as in the ancient days in the generation of old. Had thou not eat that has caught Rahab and wounded the dragon? Had thou not eat that has dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that has made the depth of the sea a way from the, for the ransom to pass over? Ah, you are passing over. Amen. You are not sinking. Amen. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing. Do something. You will offer your song this month. They will come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy. Shall be upon their forehead. When anybody looks at you. They will no longer harvest discouragement. You know there are some people. Whenever you look at them. Some joy like a butterfly. Just jump in your sto stomach. Some people when you look at them. Just like I remember when some of the royal majesties that came for the convention one of the years. So before they sang, there was um, a group of people that sang. And um, by the time they finished that singing, all the king came to come and render song to the king of kings. And all of them, they lost their, their voices. So they were just struggling to get their tune and whatever. By the time they finished, you know, they wouldn't tell you. They came to me and said, Pastor, next time we are singing, those people who sang before us, they should not be allowed to sing again. If, they want to, if you want to invite them, you are free. But they must not sing before we sing. Because the inspiration they transmitted to us, we cannot get our tune at all. I hereby decree today in the name of the Lord, in this month of August, you will get your tune right. Yeah. It says, and they shall obtain gladness and joy. Sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I even, I am he that comforted you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that shall die? And of the son of man that shall be made as grass. And forget the Lord thy maker. There are stretched forth the heaven and the foundations of the earth. And as feared continually every day because of fury of the oppressor. As if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of that oppressor? Verse 14. The captive exile. Hasten it that he may be loosed. And that he should not die in the pit. Nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea. Whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. Verse 16. Notice five things there. I have put my words in your mouth. I have covered you in the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth and say unto Zion, Thou art what? My people. Congratulations. Our today's verses, they are eight in number. They proclaim to us the doings of the Lord. That God has been active in his story. He's been doing something. Part of what God has done, according to the prophet, he cut off Rahab. Some Rahab will have to be cut off away from your life this new month. He wounded the dragon. Or the dragon of reproach. The dragon of backwardness. This month is going to wound it on your behalf. He dried the sea. You woke up in life to discover there is a sea in the family. And you have never learned how to swim. He dried the sea. All those inherited sea. They will be dried this month. And he also create road for the redeemed people. We are on a low. 
Washikini. Can you announce it to yourself? I will find a way of escape. Oh no, need the mommy. Now, can you, can I ask you a question? Is it possible? Especially our women that um, in the ancient time, you know what we normally do is that they, when they want to keep money, they will tie it inside the, um, the side of the cloth. Is it possible for you to tie water inside it? Water will find its own what? Level. This year. Beginning from this month. Why escape? From whatever it is that I've been tying everyone that carries or stay under the umbrella of your name. You will escape your own. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. And the expectation of God is there in verse 11. You will fulfill that expectation. Amen. You must wake up and do something, sir. Verse 13 says you must remember the CEO of heaven. Instead of the anger of the oppressor. Yes. Who is the CEO of heaven? He's the Elohim. He's the one that matters. Not be what? I shall not be removed. Nothing will remove you. Oppressors' anger will perish in their stomach. Whoever is born to oppress you in the name of the Lord this month, what it means here? What is your kidney? They have missed you. And then we saw some 14, I mean, verse 14, hasty freedom. For those who have been captivated, who have been locked up in prison of the soul, of the spirit, of the body of sin, they want to be free so they don't die in that covert. So that they don't experience failed food supply. I'm just reading the Bible to you. This very month, you don't need to struggle. There will be no fail food supply for you. You will not die in the prison of previous torment. Are you saying amen to that? And God was reminding the Zionians, saying, I divided the sea whose waves roared. If you have ever observed the way sea moves, one big question that will come to your mind is, is there an engine somewhere pulling that water? If you take that water away from that place, it doesn't move. But when that water is in its natural habitat, you will see the wave coming to the front, going to the back, in the name of the Lord of hosts. The mystery behind the waves that make the wave to move without human assistance, the Almighty God will make your opportunity to link up with you. Amen. See what God has done already. According to verse 16 of that same Bible chapter, it says, number one, I have put my words in your mouth. That's why you cannot afford to be dumb. When other people are declaring don't be dumb. Do something. Speak up. And he says, I cover you in the shadow of my hands. This month, there will be no more harassment. Amen. Because the shadow of the hands of the Lord will keep you. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. Apart from that, he says, because of what I've made up my mind to do, he said, I will plant heaven and lay the foundation of the earth. What is that one saying? High opportunity, low opportunity, medium side opportunity, they will come greeting you this new month. Realize this. Life is run in seasons. Those who own yesterday, they don't own today. Those who own today will not own tomorrow. It's my father who owns yesterday, he owns today, he will own tomorrow. You will never go out of being useful. Yeah. Are you saying amen to that? Yeah. And that was why in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse 8, there were about 28 seasons. How many seasons? 
28 seasons. When it is time to rise up and do something, don't sleep. Don't do what? Don't sleep. I told you in the previous discussion, preaching of the word of God on wake up from slumber, that sleep had three categories. Number one, ordinary sleep. Number two, deep sleep. Number three, sleepwalkers or sleepwalking. Those ones you think they are woken up. Just continue to go bang, 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 bang. And until when the bell could knock, bang, bang, what happened? Before the bell, ah, what happened? That person is sleepwalking. Now, at whatever category you may find yourself, the Bible says, wake up. Like ship master called Jonah. He said, what do you mean? Sleeping at such a time like this, mentally, wake up. Socially, wake up. Spiritually, wake up. Jonah 1 6. And there are two categories of sleepers that cannot wake up. How many categories? Two. They cannot wake up easily. Number one, the pretenders. He didn't sleep. But just see that you are coming. And close the eyes. And say, okay, then, be. Okay, then, be. <clears throat> can that person wake up? No, because he pretend. The person cannot wake up. And then, the second category that cannot wake up are those who have the sleep of death. Sleep of what? Death. You can't afford to continue to sleep at a time like this. Let your service of God never, 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 never go out of your focus. Because of the fear of COVID, some people no longer show up on anything. Because of fear of COVID, they love themselves, they can go to office, but not to church. Because of the fear of COVID, they can go to the marketplace. I realized throughout the whole period of about till now. And then apart from that, despite don't go out, don't go out, bank. They are still open. COVID does not enter bank. The only place that COVID refuses to go away from is the church. Only the church. Now, fear of death itself is dead. Why don't you break away the fear away from your life? The Lord is saying, with long life I will satisfy you. You won't die a worthless death. Let your service of God return back. Do something. Do something. Some people say, hey, hey, your pastor, hey, your miko in the department, if you miss it. Titi, but the COVID, if you may allow. Hey, your miko, what is your miko? Come out me. <laughs> and I say, ah, what the role you are playing in the work of the bag COVID it take place. I don't think COVID the bad law, Believe me, Pastor. Oh, you can't believe me. Hello. You must wake up and do something. Wake up and do something. The prophet of the Lord is speaking over unto your spirit man today. Wake up. You cannot sleep into your breakthrough. Wake up. Beauty here, according to Psalm 17, verse 15, we return to Jerusalem, to Zion, singing on their way. You are going to sing your song, sir. You will dance your dance. As God rescued you, Yes, that's why you are available today. You will sing on your way. Some other people may see you as being too, you are too carnal. Why are you singing like that? If you want to be spiritual, everything around you should stand like one oak, huh? and then you look serious. But the Bible says, those that the Lord has rescued, they will not just re return back with a dull face. He said they will, they will return back
singing on their way this man you will sing on the way throughout this month singing will be part of your story he said they will be crowned with great happiness they will be crowned with what can you prophesy upon your destiny in this month of august the word of the lord says i will be crowned with great happiness let great happiness be my portion in the month of august in the name of the lord of hosts great happiness upon my business yeah whoever you want to use go ahead and use god may use a stranger he may use somebody that is very close to you it does what does it matter great happiness is great happiness that lord in the month of august great happiness is for me great happiness is for my children great happiness is for my helpers not just happiness great happiness so shall it be in jesus name we prophesy he said never again to be burdened with sadness and sorrow i'm only reading the word of god for you isaiah 51 verse 11 never again to be burdened with sadness and sorrow you are going to decree bid brought in dead to every seed of sadness every seed of sorrow i prophesy upon you bid brought in dead now when you now listen 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 some people that statement may look so 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 uh, um i don't understand which one is bid now those who are in the medical line especially in the hospital if somebody died before coming to the hospital they will just tag that person b i d meaning that you didn't bring the life of that thing to this place so you brought that person dead so you are going to prophesy everything that is called sorrow and sadness i prophesy b i d upon you you will not enter into my family you won't enter into my children you won't enter into this nation in the name of jesus christ are you praying or you are keeping quiet again oh why don't you prophesy upon yourself any embarrassing situation that anybody may want to bring to your life it will be dead upon arrival yes for you to be able to rejoice and give glory and praise to god thank you glory unto the lord forever and ever in jesus decent name we pray before the final of final ten lepers in their story in Luke 17 11 who rehearsed the song for their problem people heard them they rehearse it before the healer Jesus Christ in verse 13 they lifted up their voices and said Jesus master have made it was a composed song Ten bad condition. They saw Jesus, whether they practiced it before, or it was just a simultaneous uh, whatever, only God knows. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And some other people will say, Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. 
You know, wonderful people. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. And when he saw them, in verse 14, he said unto them, that's your music. Fantastic octave, baritone, wonderful tenor, soprano, everything fused together. Therefore, my response to your composition of this song is go. Show yourself unto the priests. Maybe they may like that level of song you have rendered. And it came to pass as they went with their music. The one who asked us to go, we are going now. Now when they were singing all that, verse 15, one of them, when he saw he was healed, turned back with a loud voice. Say, ah, ah. Jesus, without a bracada, bracada, we are healed. Oh, he returned back. You will return back. Yeah. This time around, with great happiness. Yeah. Are you saying amen to that? Yeah. I keep telling people, present you fine. There's nobody who is not pretty. Hello? When a wonder touches anybody's life, the beauty will shine from the from the background that's exactly the thing and it says in there he turned with a loud voice and glorified god and fell down on his face at his feet giving thanks and he was his samaritan and jesus answered while they are not ten in this currency in this composition while they are not ten whom I heard the, the way they blended their voices and they sang to give glory to God. We are, they are not ten cleansed. We are at the remaining nine. What I'm calling well on you. They was, all on the teaching the direction of Kumbe. Everything has time and season. No matter how worthy you are, your children will be worthier than you. No matter how powerful you are, your children will be more powerful than you do. No matter how long you live, your children will live longer than you. No matter how much harvest you have, your children will harvest more than that. Are you saying amen to that? You must learn to return and give a postdated thanksgiving. Postdated what? What does it mean? Postdated. You give somebody a check saying by August, we send this check of one billion dollars. But you are holding that check in your hand, and because you, you are in need of money, you go in January. Will anybody honor it? No. You go to go and present it in April. Will anybody honor it? No. They will tell you, this one day, August, I decree from this altar, in the name of the Lord of hosts, every postdated prophecies that has gone forth over your life, over your family, in the name of the Lord of hosts, they will favor you this month. We are at the nine. They are not found that return to give glory to God except the stranger. Don't be too over familiar with God. Though. If you do, you may be cutting your blessings in pieces. And he said unto them, Arise, go your way. Your faith has completed the assignment on you. Soul, spirit, and body shall we rise up on our feet. Oh, God, the man, oh.
sustain us in February. It is your hand that was with us in March. When April came, nothing was strong enough to remove your hand. In May, you are there, June, July. Now, August, we can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Turn our life around for the best. Amen. Only one person said amen. amen. I say your hand will bring surprises to our life. Amen. I say your hand will bring surprises to our life. Amen. We shall not fail you. Amen. We shall always bring our thanksgiving. Amen. We shall not be like the nine that ignore your hand in their life. Amen. That only one person came back. Father, we will not be ungrateful. Amen. Let your hand turn our situation around. Amen. Let it cause a great turn around in our life. Amen. A great surprise in our life. Amen. Everyone that is waiting for our failure, Father, disappoint them. Amen. Father, disappoint them. Amen. Father, disappoint them. Amen. Let the month of August speak breakthrough into our life. Amen. Speak surprise into our life. Amen. Let your hand never depart from our life. Amen. Lord, we we want to pray for our Father and the Lord. We ask, O oh Lord God, you keep sustaining him. A sustaining power that will never go down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your hand be upon him for greatness, for greatness, for greatness, for greatness upon this ministry. For greatness, for breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Upon his family for sustenance. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, oh Lord God, that your hand upon this ministry will never be withdrawn. Whatever any of us will do 
to make you to withdraw your hand upon the ministry. I pray we shall never do it. I say we shall never do it. I say we shall never do it. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Let's be seated. Praise the Lord.